All right, there we got yet another video on what? Belts and clutches. Uh, of course, Hunter Works belts, best on the planet. Make sure you get one. The topic at hand today is, is belt travel. Basically, they are the same thing. And when, when we talk about, uh, use the word over travel, what does over travel mean? And then uh, I want to talk a little bit about how Polaris has, has struggled to get this right, uh, what some of the washers that we sell do, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I beg you to watch this video if you're interested in belt travel and blowing belts from it, and it causes for all these particular vehicles that I'm on name. So just eke it out and watch this whole thing. Okay, so belt travel or uh, Clutch travel is is this. So we'll, we'll just say clutch travel first. So here's where the funnel works is primary, and if this thing's open, the distance that it travels from here to here. Okay. Now then, the the thing about that is is that clutch travel determines belt travel. So an example would be is if if we only allow this to travel just this far. Well, that belt wouldn't go all the way to the top. If, if we went too far, and you, you probably could see a little gap in there, but if they touch, then the belt comes too far out of the top, okay? Now, that not only affects primary clutches, it affects secondary clutches. Now, this is actually a clutch, I think, off of a Turbo Razor that I bought brand new. All right, so inside here, once again, uh, what the primary does on traveling affects where the belt goes on the secondary. If you don't uh, get enough travel, if you had too much, and we talked about where well, the belt would only go down so far. If you have too much travel, then it can actually go down. Um, some clutches, they have a, a chamfer right here, if you will, or whatever you want to call it. They'll hit that and overheat, uh, or the, the cogs or the belt will actually come down and hit the center section of the primary. Okay, so the interesting part is, is most every, and this is so odd to me, that most every one of the Polaris primary clutches uh, travel is not set correctly. Now, now, funny part is, is why? why? Why could, as some guy said, and I've used this dude as a as an example in several videos, why do you think you down there in Mississippi can get this right and a billion dollar company can't? I, I don't know the answer to that. I honestly do not know why they struggle with, with getting the amount of travel in a primary clutch correct so they don't have problems. What, what are the problems? Okay, so we're gonna name vehicles and we'll go through them real quick. All right, so uh, 16 through 20, uh, turbo razors, for example, not 20 Pro. 20 Pro's in, in a different bracket. All right, some, not all, of those clutches, they travel too far, and uh, I believe on that one, that the belt was traveling too far into the secondary. It's been a while, you have to go watch that video. So we made this really big, and I wish I had one of them on this table out here, but I don't but this really bigger washer that if I recall is 40 thousandths of an inch to sit on top of the factory, they call it a speed limiting spacer, but the plastic went in there to limit the travel to just the right amount so that the belt didn't over travel in the secondary. So, like I said, enter in Hunter Works, big black washer for 16 through 20 regular razors. All right, while we're talking about turbo razors, enter in 20 pros and through 23, believe it or not, razors of any kind turbo. If it's a pro turbo, regular turbo, I don't care, S turbo, 20 and newer, their issue was, and I think this is one of them actually, there is a precisionly ground washer inside the primary. You go find ours and you'll see where exactly where it goes but they got the thickness of it wrong. They actually got two different washers and it's affecting travel. So in those models, uh, the ones that is too thin on, which is the majority of them, I could only find a too thick one in 21 uh, plain turbo models. 
but the ones that were too thin on, what was happening is, is that primary clutch was going too far together and the belt was coming too far out and you start slipping a belt at high speeds. Okay, so enter in Hunter Works. We figured out the exact amount it needed to be and we fixed over travel in that clutch. But does this look like the other turbo? No, does it go in the exact same place? No, does it do the same thing? Yes. All right, in a, in a turbo style looking clutch, enter in the new body style Rangers. The, uh, 2018 all the way through, I guess, 23. But the primary clutch looks very much like a turbo in it, and it was doing the same thing as, as the previous turbo I just mentioned. Those Rangers was pushing it too far out and hitting the cover at the five to six o'clock position. And luckily for us, our very first limiting washer we ever did, our standard white washer, and again, I don't, I don't see one on this table, it's irrelevant. Uh, works in that primary. What does it do? Exact same thing. Limits the travel, gets it exactly correct for that Ranger model and limits slippage at high RPM and low or high. Okay, so there, those, there's three models. Now, Razor 1000s, XP 1000 Razors from not 14 actually, because uh, 14, they got it right. They put two of these blue washers in this stock primary. And uh, but starting at 15, all the way through 23, they put one. Every single one of those, and this is really where I wanted this video to go and discuss, is uh, because people associate our standard white washer with, with our belts. They're unrelated to each other. This has to do with over travel in these clutches. So, uh, gen, I guess generals, uh, XP generals, 1000 S's, XP 1000's, two seat, four seat, high lifter, it doesn't matter if this XP 1000 has one blue washer and it needs two. What happens to them? That, that vehicles or those vehicles, a little bit different story. And those, there's not a slippage going on over here but those over travel down it too far into the secondary and heat up. If you run at high speeds for very long periods of time, it didn't take much, those belt temperatures start getting high fast and you'll blow a belt. So, you know, like I said, how did we fix those Polaris clutches? We came up with our standard washer. You take your blue out, which if you remember what I said, 14 was correct with two, but ours is equal to two. But you take your one out, put our white in your primary, problem solved. Okay, um, we'll briefly talk about uh, 900s. As a general rule, 900s, well not, not as a general rule, pretty much the answer is any 900 is not affected by belt travel. However, some of the 900 Rangers, like uh, top of my head, 13 through 15, they didn't have a spider nut in them. Uh, I don't even believe they had a washer in them at all. And those clutches actually come too far together at times and bump into each other. And I've seen marks where they're bumping into each other. But those vehicles don't run very fast anyway or fast for very long periods of time. So far as blowing belts, that's not as big an issue with them uh, as it is the rest of these. All right, so, uh, so far, and like I said, please stick with me right to the end of this. All right, so, so far, what you've learned is, is that each one of these vehicles has some type of clutch travel issue, and we fixed it with some type of washer specific to that vehicle to get it correct. All right, and I've also remind you that so far, none of those washers are connected to any Hunterworks belt. Now, enter in one washer that is connected to one belt. So we, we sell a, what we call a thick belt. Uh, it's purposely short, and, and we won't go into all these details, but it's purposely short to do what it's supposed to do. I'm gonna figure that out, go to the thick belt on our site and watch videos. But, so it's purposely short, and therefore it's gonna over travel 
and eat up the inside of the cogs if we don't limit the travel of the clutch more. So the thick belt gets its own washer that is associated with it to be able to work in, in the vehicles that the thick belt's for, which is primarily XP1000 razors. Uh, we got some new applications and our new clutches we're playing with, but today's date, XP1000s, okay? So, uh, and FYI, while we're on thick belt, um, I don't think this is it per se, but uh, when you choose a thick belt on our website, you have to tell us if you have an OEM primary or the Hunter Works. If it's a Hunter Works, you're actually getting a, a, a stainless steel washer to go inside and stack on top of the one that comes in our Hunter Works, okay? So I think I've covered what over travel is, the problem it causes, how we fix it with OE clutches. Now, this hopefully this is what you've been waiting for at the very end. So once again, I'll say, why, why doesn't Polaris get this right? Why can't they get it right? I honestly don't know the answer to that. Sometimes I think it's on purpose to burn more belts and you buy more from them or or they just don't get it but I, I honestly don't have the answer to that so the good news is that since i acquired this knowledge kind of by accident when we were belt testing back in 2018 when we first come out with our belts is basically when i came up with the knowledge fast forward to when we started developing our own hunter works primary clutch well guess what I'll be a smart butt. Guess what? Our clutch is perfect. Perfect as far as belt travel it goes because I was well aware of the issue. And so when we made it, I made sure that on the vehicles running, etc., that our uh, clutch travel was correct so that we didn't run into those problems. Now, you won't be able to see in it. Uh, but inside there on top of our spider nut is a stainless steel washer that's 40 thousandths of an inch thick. And its purpose is, of course, we had to calculate it in, but its purpose for me was just to keep the bushing on the back side of this cover from touching a castellated nut with sharp edges. So we wanted kind of buffer. So when they do come together and close at full speed, you don't have a castellated nut touching the bushing. And so everything was factored in, ended up 40 thousandths uh, thick stainless steel washer to protect it. And like I said, it's calculated to be perfect. So do we use any washers with Hunter Works primaries? Just one. An additional stainless when you're running a thick belt with it. Uh, like I said, this is uh, today's date. Uh, I, I will let the cat out of the bag. This actually is a 900 uh, primary. I've been uh, messing with it on a 900 Ranger. Uh, I actually been testing a thick belt on a 900 Ranger, which is like insane overkill. But we use the, the little washer in it on, a, on our new 900 clutch thick belt. All right, so we're getting a little uh, out of hand here. So once again, I hope I've given you a full understanding of what over travel is, belt travel is, how we uh, fix it on these clutches, their inherent issues with travel with the washers that go in different places. Uh, and then when we develop our own clutches, we just do it right the first time. So once again, Hunter Works Belt, best on the planet. Make sure you subscribe, like, this is how you get to uh, get notifications and learn and learn and learn about clutches. And when you do have clutch problems, you know what to do about it. But we appreciate you. If you need me, Todd at HuntWorks.com.